So I've installed North Korea's operating system, Red Star OS, and I've connected it to the internet, which many of you warned me not to do, but I wanted to answer the question once and for all. Does this thing really phone home and send data about everything you're doing back to the North Korean government? Well, today we're gonna find out. Now, I haven't done anything to this Red Star OS installation other than change it to English. It's a fresh install, and I also don't have anything open either. So I'm going to use this awesome tool called Wireshark, which basically lets me see the network activity coming from my Red Star OS virtual machine. And honestly, there really isn't too much going on other than some network announcements for discovering network shares, which is totally normal. Most operating systems will send those out. But other than that, there really isn't much coming from the virtual machine. This is my virtual machine here, 192.168.38.150. Now, I thought maybe if I open a web browser and then go back to Wireshark, we can see the request where it tries to connect to a North Korean server at 10.76.1.11, but it is just a normal HTTP request. I would assume that the server would work inside of North Korea's intranet. Nothing too out of the ordinary here, and there's really still not anything else, so, so far not much tracking going on really. Okay, I'm gonna close the web browser and then I'm going to open a whole bunch of other applications just to see if we get any sort of increase in other network activity. I think that's good. Let's open up Wireshark again. So I've let this run for a little while now and again, honestly, not much of anything out of the ordinary. I'm quite surprised to be honest. If I had to guess, they probably just don't have the technical infrastructure there to actually collect analytical data like this and send it back. But this was still a fun experiment. I still don't recommend doing this since I only ran this experiment over a short period of time. For all we know, they may only start sending data on day three, but it was still cool. And if there's anything else you want to see me do with this operating system, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more.